What's up, G Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, let's talk about the Rider Kicks. So, ever since the very first uh, Kamen Rider show came out in the late 1970s, or, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, actually, like, uh, l let me rephrase that, early uh, 1970s, sorry about the mistake, but yeah, uh, ever since the very first Kamen Rider came out, so the Rider Kick has been an integral part of the show. It's uh, basically the finishing attack that, you know, uh, everybody recognizes Kamen Rider with. Uh, even though, like, you're not a big fan of the show, uh, if you know the show, there's at least some kind of Rider Kick involved, right? Although, technically, not all uh, common writers use writer kicks as their finishers. Uh, let's say, for example, back in the Showa era, uh, like writers like Rider Man, common writer Amazon don't really depend on writer kicks to finish off their enemies. Usually, they have other means, but more often than not, the writer kick, especially for the main writers, is still part of their you know arsenal it's still part of their skill repertoire so with that said i'm going to talk about my favorite rider kicks from the entire franchise of course uh, especially from the heisei era there have been you know uh multiple riders that appear uh, in each show and uh there are some times that you know one uh character or one writer has, uh, you know, a different writer kick than the other. So with that said, I'm going to talk about my favorite writer kicks. Whether they're practical, whether they're cool looking, I will explain why I like each writer kick uh, that I will explain each writer kick that I'm going to talk about in this video. So with that said, if you have your own favorite writer kicks, you know, leave them down in the comments below. Now, before I begin, I really have to give a big shout out to Kamen Rider Ichigo for being the very first Kamen Rider to, of course, you know, originate the Rider Kick thing in the first place, you know. Well, not exactly my favorite. He did, you know, start the trend. It became a tradition. And yes, until now, you get various types of Rider Kicks just because of him. So with that said, let's talk about my favorite rider kicks. So the very first rider kick that I'm going to mention is probably uh, the very first one I have ever seen and that is Kamen Rider Black's rider kick. Now technically we could say Kamen Rider Black was the last Showa era Kamen Rider and you know all the riders that at least have used rider kicks before Kamen Rider Black so Probably it was, uh, you know, uh, because it came out actually at a different time. And up until, like, Kamen Rider Z-Cross, all those Rider Kicks that you've seen don't have any special effects. So Kamen Rider Black is the very first Kamen Rider to use a Rider Kick with special effects. So by charging his attacks with the Kingstone Power's energy, so, well, he can perform other attacks as well with the Rider Punch and Rider Chop. But, of course, his Rider Kick, like, has his foot charged in that energy and flashing lights came about. Well, while it is definitely bad for people with seizures, well, uh, it, anyways, it's uh, the very first Rider Kick that I know that used special effects. And it gets the job done. So next stop, I'm gonna go with Kamen Rider Ryuki. Well, this isn't the most practical Rider kick. Like the setup takes quite a while. Now, the first Ryuki has to insert the final vent into his drag visor, and you know he still has to depose. The dragon has to move around. However, it could be practical if the dragon does attack. You know the enemy in the process, like. Like, get out of the way. I'm I'm gonna have uh, Shinji perform a rider kick with me. So, <laughs> but yeah, 
So once that's set up, he jumps high into the air, uh, you know, does a, a bit of a flip, and then the dragon from behind breathes fire on Shinji. You know, he he gets a huge boost, like he drops down like a meteor, and of course charges his rider kick with flames. So I would say this is one of my favorite rider kicks in terms of like visuals, like. Yeah, uh, it's one of the best looking rider kicks that I've ever seen. So next up, I'm gonna actually go with Kamen Rider Fies and the Crimson Smash. So well, technically, like uh, the rest of the riders in the Fies universe, you could say, like they do have similar, uh, you know, kick systems. Uh, so, of course, uh, the Crimson Smash is definitely the most uh, recognizable. So, I would say this is also one of the most practical. Well, the setup does take a bit of time with Takumi having to, uh, you know, insert the mission memory, so the memory card from his phone. He inserts it into the Fize Pointer, attaches the Fize Pointer to his right leg, and then fires a blast of energy. So that energy does stun lock the enemy, allowing, you know, Takumi or any other Fize user, basically, to, you know, deliver a powerful kick. Now, the kick itself varies from user to user. So uh, Takumi does deliver, you know, the more traditional uh, flying side kick. So, it, so that uh, energy creates like a spinning vortex, you know, uh, again, it does create like a some sort of portal so once uh takumi delivers the kick right so he passes through the enemy and you know uh if it connects so you see the orphan ox burn a bright blue flame and like the phi symbol appears as well so again uh it's uh, a visually stunning uh you know rider kick while also being Practical in a way. So uh, as long as you know how to use you know, the Fize Pointer and you get the timing right. So yeah, it is a good looking one. So next off, I'm going to talk about Kamen Rider Liangle. Now, uh, each Kamen Rider and Kamen Rider Blade has their own distinct Rider Kick. And Kamen Rider Liangle's, uh, you know, uh, Rider Kick is like like a scissor type kick so it looks just badass you know uh, I, i'm just gonna say it just looks badass so uh, i'm gonna say uh common rider lee angles rider kick uh like the the execution there's not much really in terms of like graphics and visuals but it just looks unique and nice in my opinion again such kicks uh, I, I, I think they rock. So next off, Kamen Rider Kabuto's Rider Kick. Yep. So Kamen Rider Kabuto is, uh, I guess uh, we could all agree that he's a badass, right? So he performs a spinning roundhouse kick while his back is turned on the enemy. Tendo Soji is such a trained fighter that he knows that an enemy is approaching and he knows his timing very well. So in the Kamen Rider Gatak uh, Hyper Battle DVD, so uh, Kagami tries to imitate Tendo, but you know his impatience fails him and uh, you know he kicks too early, so leaving him open for a punish by the enemy. So yeah, uh, but again, Soji, Tendo, he's such a badass, like, he knows he can rider kick you even when he's not looking. That's how it is, right? Now, moving on to, like, later entries, I don't really see much of, like, a change in riders, like, or rider kicks rather uh i'm also thinking of like later entries after that yeah 
And also think of Common Rider Decades uh, Dimension Kick. It does look nice in terms of like the visuals. And if you're in the line of the card effects, I think it, it can also stun lock you, especially if you're caught in between. So I think that's also a practical uh, I think one, one of the more practical rider kicks in my opinion. So it kind of looks nice. So with that said, yeah, these are so far my favorite rider kicks in the franchise. I mean, the rest, you know, they, they're okay. They're, they make sense in their own right. Uh, but nothing really sticks to my memory in recent years that yeah, that's a good-looking rider kick, or that that's a really badass rider kick. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, thanks for, so much for watching. Again, leave your own favorite rider kicks in the comment section below. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Philip. Please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from G Fusion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.